back in the old eye pilot boat. So I had old Brian with me for two days. Day one, we we're gonna fish normal in the yaks. Day two, we're gonna do a long drift in a different area. Let's see how this pans out. What? All right, first fish of the morning, man. Standing in the old town, boy. Well, he swallowed it too, man. This boat is plenty stable to stand in. Get out of here. Brian got a fish. Oh man, what you got? Nice red. Oh, it's red. Killer. <laughs> That's great, man. It's broken rudder, still got the red. Still got it. I am in a radar at 135. Nice. That's that's a real nine. It's got the pedal drive. <laughs> so that's your uh, that's your biggest, your yeah. PV. Yeah. yeah. All right. So these like 18. So we got to break 18. Yeah. There you go. All right. Okay. Oh, good job. All right. That's keep a trout, people. Yes, sir. Yeah. The little one works. So Brian's rudder system on his radar started giving him trouble. So I'd let him just scoot around with his paddle from area to area, and when we make big jumps, I put a foot in, we'd link up, and I'd tow him there. Just over. He's, he's, he's over. Yeah. He's over. You want him? Sure. We keep him fish, right? Yeah, absolutely. Hey, that's a more better fish. I like it. There you go. Oh, that's a nice red, dude. Pushing legal. Woo! Nice. <laughs> yeah, he's That's a good he's skirting legal right there, buddy. Yeah, it has been a good morning. Uh oh, Brian's killing it, man. I I can't hardly set up the fish for he's. I got got another one. All right, so tight, tighten your drag a touch. You don't want to reel against your drag. Don't crank down on him. Right. You want him to take, be able to run. I got a big old lady. Whoa, whoa, turn my... Got a lady fish on up. Got a got a lady fish on up front. And what you got a trout? Brian got a trout in the back. Got doubled up. He might be a keeper. <laughs> got a big old. I got some big old chicken food right here, buddy. <laughs> hey, look out! That's a big old lady fish, man. A gill hooked it. Yeah, it looks like a better fish, man. You got your net handy? Yep. Is that red? Yep. Thought there might be some up on this island. That was a good call, son. Yeah, man. Good call. I know what to use now. Uh, you know, that uh, Z2. I don't think I'll ever, ever throw anything else. Really? While I'm out here. That's a keeper. You better get that nun out of there. <laughs> I'm working on it. There you go. Come here. Don't lift the body weight. There you go. You want to scoop them with the, when the water's holding the body weight. Gotcha. When you lift the body weight out of the water, that's when that's they pop whenever off. the rod. Yeah. Yeah, because you're supporting. Oh, oh, are you going? Oh no no no, 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 no! Stay away from the anchor. Stay away from the anchor. Now, oh, it's just a good size red. That's all. I thought it was a big trout. <laughs> Throwing that paddle tail, man. He followed it. They've I've, they've been following it in. The second one. Oh yeah, swimming shiner baby, striking. Good fish, good fish. Look at my go-to, especially in the cooler months, man. You see that, people? Do you see that? That just happened. We got a double. Oh, well, this is a big one here, boss. This is a big one here. Oh, I'm glad we came over here. Got Holy it. smokes. Uh, ah, that's a big there one. There you go. That's nice. Keep it in the boat. Nice, dude. That's a good one. I like it. Got a double. I like it. <laughs> Woo. He's close, man. He's close, but I he's... would definitely check it. Yeah, I'm going to check mm -hmm. it. Okay. Yep, I would definitely check it. See, I don't have my, I don't know what I did with my fish grip.
All right, now we're cooking with grease. You ready? Ready. Foggy let's, morning. Let's do this thing. Yeah, man. Super foggy. We're about to roll out of here and get rocking. We need to throw some top water. It's super foggy this morning. Perfect duck hunting morning, so it sounds like Vietnam out here. But I think it's going to extend our top water bite, so we're just going to throw some top for a while here. <laughs> I was right. I was raised in BRYN. So I always want to call people that. All right. All right. So I'm jigging. I was throwing top, nothing. Throw the jig one time. Boom. Fish. What you got there? He looks a little better. Yeah. Oh, nice red, man. Nice red. Good job. Oh, Zoo 2 did it again. Second cast. Come on. Second cast. Well, that's the ticket. That'll do. So I'm just kind of bumping bottom. Bumping bottom with it. Not a lot of grass. I'm just like bumping, lift, lift bump, lift. At the beginning of this day, my GoPro started giving me trouble. I was reduced to using my cell phone to film one-handed. Oh, I got a big trout, people. Big trout. Big trout, big trout. No doubt, big trout. Uh... Boom! Whoa! That's a trout. Man, this fish went like 23 inches. What a blessing. What an amazing fish. Strike King Z2 right there. That's becoming my favorite. The top water bite was not happening. So I put a little bit of Pro Cure on an eighth ounce jig head with a Z2 and just started pecking bottom. Real quick, when I get this big trout on, Pro TI rod, 6.6. I mean, CI 200 with 15 pound Strike King braid. A little bit of leader, and of course the Z2, man. Big trout, huh? Man, that's a great nest, I, I usually don't keep anything, anything 23 and over, I don't keep. Okay. I let them breed. So, this is a big girl. We're gonna let her go back, right? That's pretty. She gone. What do you think, Brian? That's great, man. Good I day. This fog's paying off, ain't it? It is. It's a great morning. Thought it wasn't going to be good, but uh, we had a little trouble earlier. But man, both of us got PBs on the day. That Z2 is paying off, isn't it? It's great. Yes. With the death grip, right? Yeah, you got a death grip on there. It's a good combo. <laughs> There's something there. That's a big trout. I like it. Oh, oh get me. Yeah, yeah. He's green. Don't lift him out of the water. He sucked it down, though. Yeah, he did. That's a good trout. That might, that's going to be your PB if you can net it. If you can net it. Negotiating a net and a rod and a fish and a kayak can be tricky. Too much. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> you got it. Yes, sir. <laughs> the day of records, man. That's amazing. Man, what a day. I thought I saw, what a, day. I thought I saw a flash. Yeah, no, I saw it too. Oh, man. Just when we thought Brian couldn't do any better, he hangs this fish. Morning. Oh, that's a <gasps> no, dude, that's huge flop. Oh my god! Whoa! <laughs> greatness, man. This flounder scared the heck out of 22 inches. Once again, Z2. That flounder that we got, man, that's something to write home about. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm gonna put it up. Uh, find somewhere. Somebody do a replica. I'm gonna put it up in my office. That way I can show all my clients, show everybody that comes in, show the guys. There you go, that'll be great. Um, Brian's in the DFW area. If anybody knows anybody in the DFW area that does replica mounts, comment below. And if not there, then the next best place, Houston or wherever, comment below and uh, he's interested in, in doing that flounder. And that flounder is, that's, a, that's the biggest flounder I've seen come out of Copano. I know they get bigger, but that's the biggest one I've personally ever witnessed. Just ran into Cody, y'all. Look at this string. Nice. There's like, they're all over 18. All plastics? Uh, one top water. One top water. Nice 
struggling with the top today. Mostly on the tops was redfish. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know why the trout just weren't. They weren't hitting the top water. They were missing them. Right. More than anything else, they were just popping at it. I like those loose, that loose shirt. Oh, yeah. You gave it to me. <laughs> <laughs> there they go. Hey, I don't know if y'all saw that 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 video where where uh where Blue first got that boat for five hundred dollars. Epic video. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Let's get back to Brian and we'll get on to business. Oh, and again, that's another fish. That is another big dog. Whoa, great color. My two favorite colors of baby bass and this kind of gray natural. Looks like a mullet. This guy's big. He's not as big as the last one, but he's big. We're linked up right now, people. Going ahead and trolling it in. Besides setting world records, let's see what else he's learned. <laughs> oh man, that's been great. Thank you so much, Ty, for bringing me out here. You can throw that in Dallas too. Abs absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. So once I get back on the rivers and the lakes out there, I'll be throwing that at bass. I just think it's all, all around great, great lure to throw. All right, old time man's been getting the job done and you're in a radar? I am in a radar at 135. Yesterday, the rudder wasn't working, so we did this all day. Yeah, we linked up. <laughs> Cheated. Which was great. Yeah. A lot of cheating around. A lot of cheating, but it works. It's a lot of fun. We killed it yesterday. Killed it today. Extremely thankful. Yeah, man. So we're going to keep pounding these, uh, these last few docks on the way in. And uh, get Teresa to come pick us up. We've done like a three and a half mile drift. It's been a lot of fun, man. I appreciate you coming and fishing with us for a couple days. Absolutely. Sometimes the stars just align. The weather's perfect, fish are feeding, you pick the right spot. You with good company, and it all comes together. Hey, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. We'll see you next time right here on 30 Miles Out.